What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today we're at the capsule to talk to you about three radically different products from one another. We've got Doritos Twisted Lime Tortilla Chips. We've got the Name the Flav Snapple. And then we have an FYE exclusive Saturday Night Live Super Colon Blow on the go cereal bar. Ryan, <laughs> go ahead and get the only shot of these three products together that all of us will ever see. <laughs> this is kind of what we like to call the clearing out the capsule special before our next round of shooting. So uh, I think it only makes sense to start with a colon blow. Yeah. So uh, let's see what it looks like. And this super colon blow on the go was $3.99 at FYE, but with me being such a fan of Saturday Night Live commercial parodies, and having worn out that VHS tape, not once, but twice, once as a kid and once as an adult, <laughs> uh, this is just so great. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen the Phil Hartman Saturday Night Live commercial parody of Total Serial, um, man, oh man, you have to check out Colin Blow. It is just so, so, so funny. I mean, Phil Hartman's the best Saturday Night Live cast member of all time. I'm not even going to hear any arguments otherwise, unless Norm McDonald's your thing. Um, you know what it tastes like is um, Raisin Nut Bran. Yeah, Wheaties. A little bit like little, Wheaties, but... Little, more names than Raisin Nut Bran. I thought it would be like chocolatey because of the appearance. No, that's just because that's what Colin Blow looks like, is that yeah. it's supposed to be, you know dark brown and intimidating. <laughs> hmm. It's actually not too bad. Pretty good. It's a little wet yeah. for a cereal bar. A little off-putting. Get, get your fingers very oily. I know a lot of times I say I don't like like the manufactured gimmick thing, but bringing Colon Blow to market, they brought out Colon Blow cereal at its sugar a few years ago. Super Colon Blow at FYE last year. And now a super colon blow on the go cereal bar. I'm all about it. So I'm very, very. They also have a Schmitz Gay energy drink, Ryan. No That's way. the funniest thing. Uh, but I couldn't find a can that was even not just beaten with a sledgehammer. So maybe one day we'll be reviewing that too. Uh, but in the meantime, this is okay. But if you haven't seen the Saturday Night Live commercial parody, there's absolutely no way that you would possibly pay even half of what it sells for. Next up, we have the Doritos Twisted Lime Chips. These sound like a risk. You know, we've, we've had the kind of flaming Hot Limon thing, but never just a lime standalone Dorito. So this one could be interesting. I, go, I was able to at least find it in a pretty small non-committal bag at the Walmart checkouts for $1.88. And here is what the chips look like. There's decent coverage there. But the color is just like a very, very light green. Some of these you'll see the, the coverage a little better than others. All right, see what it's got in store for us. Ooh, it does smell pretty limey. Whoa. Wow, very limey. How much you like with limes, Ryan? <laughs> um, I'm okay with them, not this much. This is a lot of lime. It's a, it's too much lime. But I guess the twisted, I should have known the little flames coming out. It is spicy. Yeah. Pretty good chip. The, the spice lingers. I like the spiciness makes me want to keep eating it. Mm -hmm. But then when I keep eating it, the lime reminds me, stop eating it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's only one way to wash down probably the only combination of super colon blow on the go bars and twisted lime doritos and that is the name the flav snapple now this was supposed to be released this summer some areas got it other areas like the entire mid south apparently really didn't get it so uh, we're coming to you a little late on this one but distribution has been very poor. Uh, so, essentially, there is a hashtag name the Flav uh, contest that ends on October 31st. Or, okay. sorry, excuse me, 
August 31st oh. of 2020. So we missed it by a long shot. October would have been great. Um, I did get two. Do you know what the flave is? I don't. I'm going to look it up. Ooh, is this is the flave just cranberry ocean spray cranberry juice? Because that's what it smells like. I'm gonna toss this in a Bud Bowl 10 cup for you. Beautiful. Okay. It also looks like cranberry juice. Maybe a little cran grape action. Smells delicious. I mean, that this could be our winner here. Cheers. I am having a hard time getting off the cranberry thing. Maybe a little watermelon. Man, nothing's really cool. Crayon watermelon, <laughs> which actually is a new flavor of ocean spray. So that would be weird if that was the case. I, I really like the taste, but I'm having a hard time breaking away from the cranberry thing. Ryan, do you have any spoilers for us over there? I'm looking for it. I feel like we've reached a point in this contest where we can just reveal what the flavor is. Uh, It's tasty. I like it. I don't drink a lot of Snapple, but maybe I should. All right, well, it's time for the gimmick grade. And I gotta tell you, we got three pretty interesting ones. I think Twisted Lime Doritos, you just never would have seen it come in. The bag is very eye-catching and beautiful. I uh, love the unique color scheme. Um, love the pretty crazy yet somewhat practical idea of like a spicy lime tortilla chip. So. I'm going to give them a seven and a half out of 10. Uh, for the super colon blow on the, <laughs> super colon blow on the go cereal bar, a little hard to say. I got to give it a nine out of 10. I mean, definitely a very disruptive thing. It's the kind of product we really wouldn't review here. Typically, we don't do a lot of those like go to a FYE and find a weird product and then review it type stuff. But this was a special occasion. It's definitely a nine out of 10. Look, we love mystery flavors here on the CTC review. I like this kind of holographic kind of uh, kind of label to it. I don't like how long it took to end up in our hands, but definitely an interesting concept. Definitely something that if they continue to do contests like that, I'll I'll also continue to can you know trying to guess. I don't know. I feel like it did a very poor job. Usually, I'm pretty passionate about the flavor is this, and like with Mountain Dew Voodoo too, Ryan, we were right. Yeah. Um, but uh, in this case, I really, it was it was a tough one. But this is just the gimmick, and I would say the gimmick is pretty darn good. It's eight and a half out of ten. And that brings us to the capsule countdown. Unfortunately, I, uh, you know, God, super colon blow has got to be last place. <laughs> it's just so oily and greasy that, it, I mean, really, without the gimmick, it just has no real merits as a product. It wasn't as offensively bad as I expected. Um, Ryan, you had mentioned Wheaties. I kind of compare it more to like a Raisin Nut brand kind of flavor. It's definitely bran. It's brandy, um, but not too bad. So Good stocking stuffer. A great stocking stuffer. Very good point. So if you got a Saturday Night Live, 80s Saturday Night Live fan in the family, maybe sneak it in that stocking and surprise them because... I, I, I just don't really see this on many people's radar right now. So I don't know how new it is or, or whatever, but uh, I'll give it a 3 out of 10. It's okay. Uh, second place, got to be the Twisted Lime Doritos. You know, it's kind of a lingering spicy flavor in my mouth that I'm really kind of liking, and I just want to keep eating more of these Doritos. It's still spicy. It's still spicy. And you got to give it up to them for that. I mean, Doritos know, know how to make a spicy chip. This was not falsely advertised as, uh, you know, spicy and then not spicy. It was actually kind of under advertised for uh, as spicy as it turned out. The lime flavor is a bit intense. If you're just not a lime type person, um, you won't like it. I mean, it's that it's that intense. Uh, lime is the key differentiating factor from any other Dorito uh, that I've ever had. So I'll give it a six out of 10. It's okay. It's not too bad. First place on today's capsule countdown, got to be the name, name the Flav Snapple. Boy, it's hard to name. Uh, Ryan, do you have any guesses other than Crayon Watermelon, yeah, which like is my the guess? Crayon Watermelon. I thought maybe there was a little tea taste in there, potentially. Good point. Know. 
Good point. There could know. be a little tea taste. Look, I don't know. Usually I feel like I've got a pretty good pulse on these things, but this was a tough one. Ryan's been researching it on his phone ever since uh, he learned about the contest, and we can't find an answer, but I know that if it's any of you do, Twitter if like any that. of you do, please let us know because we would love to know what is the Flav and what was it named? Mm -hmm. So gonna gonna be an interesting one uh, to see the result of. And of course, that brings us to our From the Archives product today. And it is the holidays, so let's celebrate with some Keebler Townhouse Crackers. And look how adorably chubby these uh, snowmen, Santa heads, and Christmas trees are. I love, like, when something is just more Christmassy than it needs to be. And certainly Townhouse Crackers don't need to be quite this gimmick intensive, but they are. Uh, three festive shapes from 1991. This is just a beautiful box. This is like, it's simple. It's classic. 19, that feels nineteen. It feels like Christmas 1991, right? I feel like I should be getting a, a box of uh, 91, 92 Fleer basketball <laughs> to rip through on Christmas morning. So I have an answer. You do? Oh, yes. okay. Well, let's hear. <laughs> the actual flavor is yes. blueberry lavender lemon. Apparently. Oh my god. And then they asked someone to name it, and the name is Parish Grape. Parish Grape? So they accepted pear, like pear-ish? Oh, okay, grape. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they accepted a name of pear and grape. And it's and blueberry, it's lemon, lemon, and lavender? <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh, so we guessed none of those. Guessed I guess the blueberry I can see. The other two, definitely, definitely, I was not getting any lemon. I was looking for lemon. I thought lemon might be a factor. It, to me, it wasn't, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the From the Archives and the kind of cliffhanger at the end where <laughs> uh, we thought that we were going to finish without a conclusion to the Name the Flav, and it turns out you can name the Flav whatever you want, even if the components are not in the ingredient list. So it's Parish Grape but also blueberry, lavender, and lemon. So there were five contest. right answers and we got zero. zero. <laughs> so we did not name that Flav, but uh, you know, it is what it is. We missed the contest anyway. So not a huge deal. Uh, this was the clearing out the capsule version of our review. So we have no clue what's next, but stay tuned next Monday for an all new CTC review. And something tells me it'll be something interesting. So, let's see. Until next time, of course, I will miss you. Until I see you. Cheers.